Okay. Um, I am not looking forward to the E sound, which is the letter U. Uh. Before we go on, it is very important that you have learned the letter A uh, in the French lesson number one. And that is because you will see some patterns recurring here. And if you haven't learned very well what, we, uh, what I taught you at lesson one, you will get lost. You will get confused. So please, please, please go back and refresh your memory. Actually, let's have a little test together here. Please pronounce this. If you said une main, you were correct. And count half a point. If you can tell me also what it means, then give yourself another half. If you remember what this is, I have to congratulate you. But also you have to pronounce it. So, if you said une main, <coughs> excuse me, une paille et un âne, then congratulations, you can move on to the next level. Ah, which is the letter E, and I'm really not looking forward to it because the letter E is a huge pain in the bum. You have the sound E and the sound E and the sound U and the sound A. Uh. Uh, am I forgetting something? No, I'm not. Now, in this here, you have this and you have this oops and this and this and this um so let me explain why this is so important. These two sounds, this one here and this one here, are the sounds that are mostly confused in the French language uh, by foreigners because they cannot understand the difference between E and E. Let me show you exactly what I mean. Une mère, which means a mother. E. Belle. This sound and this sound and this sound are exactly the same. Une mère est belle. It's an open E. And it means a mother is beautiful and this is a verb. But if you say une mère. Oops, that went a little bit too high. Et une mère. which means the sea. This is a mother here with her baby in her arms. Oh, how cute. So you have une mère est belle, une mère et une mère sont, which is the verb again, belle. So it is very important to know the difference between this, this here, this here, with this, e, 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 e. Okay? So in the next um, page, we're gonna see those differences. Let's say, let's take this one here. This sound is the same as this. When you write this, which means 13, says, which means 16, 
une tête, which means a head. If you look like a moron. Um, une mère. Une mère. Which is the sea, of course. No, that's not a boob, that's a baby. Was well, supposed to be a baby. Um, yep. So, this is also tu es, which means you are. Il est. This is how it's written, but it's exactly the same sound. He is. Okay? This is the most important thing of today's lesson. You really need to, believe, to remember this. And you really need to study this. Now, the sound... Uh, excuse me. The sound... Okay, wait. I think I made a mistake. Yeah, the sound I, I, which you find when you do un elephant. Un elephant. An, an elephant. Un elephant est né. An elephant is born this and this and this are the same this is not the same un elephant est né please say this sentence one or two times to understand the difference un elephant est né un elephant est né. This sound is also at the end of a word when it is with er, et, or ez. Parler, which is the infinitive of the verb talking. Et, which means end, we saw this, but when it is at the end of a word, for instance, um, perroquet, perroquet, un perroquet. And here, this ending is the ending of you in plural. Vous parlez. This is my Z, sorry. Vous parlez. So this is the infinitive of the verb talking. And this is you are talking. You talk. So these three at the end of a word have that sound. Confused yet? So. Let's make an exercise together. Une. On my own. Okay. Une mère est née dans la mer. Une tête et un rein.
sont trouvés où? That's a mistake. Trouvés. Ah, oh, it's so difficult to write with this. Dans la mer. Ok. So, une mer est. Should I put it here? Né. If you said no, you were right. Dans la mer. Should I put it here? Yes, it is the same. A mother is born in the sea. Let's see if there is another one here. Une tête. Should I put it here? Yes, I should. Et un rein sont trouvés dans la mer. A head and a kidney were found are found in the sea. Where should I put another E? Eh? Here. Absolutely right. Now, the sound E. Eh. Une mère est née, yes, dans la mer. Une tête est, yes, un rein sont trouvés, yes, dans la mer. If you're getting confused or if you can't hear the difference, please do not um, give up. It's a process. Like I said at the first lesson, some people uh, do not have those sounds uh, in them and they need to be educated. And this is what we do here every day. And you have to watch these lessons as much as you can and repeat them and hear as much French as you can. And at the end, it will happen and not so far in the future. It might take a month if you practice every day. And once you understand those nuances of sounds, you're on your way. I'm going to end here. There are more about the letter E. But I'm going to stop here because it's too much. And I'm just going to uh, point out something that m some of you may have noticed, some may have not, that this here is the same sound as this here, un rein, and it's the same as the one we found in une main. And this is why I insisted that you have learned your first lesson. See, this, so this sound and this sound are the same. They are just written differently, and this is just a quirk of the French language. Some uh, are written with an A, some are written with an E, but it's exactly the same sound. Uh. And it's exactly the same sound as this one. Uh. And as we will see later on in the um, when we're going to go to see this letter, it's also the same as this one. And of course, like we saw on this lesson, it's also the same as this, also the same as this, also the same as this, also the same as this. Uh, 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 uh. Um, I'm going to stop here. Um, hopefully, this was um, enough for you today. And um, I will see you in the next lesson to finish the letter E. And... Uh, don't lose uh, your courage because the letter E is the most difficult one, as we said. And um, once you're done with this one, the other ones are, you know, a piece of cake. Well, except maybe the O, but that comes much later. Thanks for watching. <laughs>